Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Composer on Microsoft Windows 10. So Composer is a dependency manager for PHP. Now this is Microsoft Windows 10. If you have Windows Vista, XP, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and obviously 10 you should not have any issue downloading installing composer following this video instruction so make sure you already have PHP installed I've got uh, PHP 7.4 I guess so here we are this is PHP oops you can see 7.4.2 so that's what I have and also make sure your PHP is set to the system variable path. That means it's globally available. Okay. Alrighty. So if you do not have PHP installed, make sure you go ahead and install PHP. If you don't know how to do it, go ahead and watch video on my channel. The latest video to install PHP. Okay. Now once you've got PHP installed and set to the system variable path globally, let's go ahead and download and install Composer. Launch your preferred browser first. So I'm going to use Google Chrome as you can see and then go to getcomposer.org. So that's the website where you can get the Composer. Now go ahead and click this download button. So I'm going to say download. And on this download page, the very first option it gives me is the for Windows users. Okay, so we are going to download this composer hyphen setup.exe executable compiled version of composer package. So go ahead and click this button here. Now, once you have this downloaded, depending on the browser that you are using. I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using Firefox or Edge, go ahead and locate this composer hyphen setup.exe and then say open after right clicking or simply double click on it. Now it says install for all users. That's recommended. Go ahead and hit that button and now you will see you got a window that says user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device say yes and here on the installation options wizard you do not want to check this box because if you have enabled this developer mode you will not have uninstaller included in this package which I personally don't like so I I'm not going to check it so now you say next so you can see this has already detected my PHP 7.4 which is globally set to the systems path if it's not there go ahead and browse it okay so if if it doesn't detect your PHP go ahead and browse wherever you have installed PHP so just navigate to that particular folder maybe you have you are using XAMPP or MAMP or WAMP just open that particular folder look for php.exe under PHP folder or directory and then just select it and you should see that php.exe here now once you've got this PHP dot in here go ahead and say next okay if you have any proxy URL that you want to use for this installation purpose, go ahead and check this box and enter here. I do not have any proxy, so I'm going to say next. If you're happy with this, these settings, so it's going to use this PHP version 7.4.2. And this is also, if you, in case you have any proxy, it's going to list here. I do not have any. Say install and we are almost done here so it says completing composer setup and that's done setup has installed composer on your computer open command window and type composer now you can go ahead and say finish and if you already have your 
command prompt or PowerShell up, go ahead and just close it, exit out of that particular window and relaunch it. Make sure you relaunch it, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to detect your composer. Now you simply say composer and here you see you've got composer installed and set to the systems variable path. So I've got composer 1.9.3 which is we just downloaded here which is the latest version yes so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below if you have issue installing composer also leave in the comment below please like share and subscribe to my channel if you like the video please please give me a thumbs up if you do not like give me a thumbs down alrighty so that's it for this video thank you have a good day bye for now